Greetings, everyone. Hello and welcome back to Android 100 Extreme once more to, yeah, my schooner. My schooner Castaway that is on its way now back to Sleepy Hollow with the first uh, potatoes and grain on board. A great day indeed. It's a very short trade route, so we can actually go ahead now and, yeah, continue with our expansion. The first thing that I would like to do here is then getting rid of my potatoes. We don't have any potatoes on board yet and I'm also looking not... actually I'm looking rather good on schnapps. I'm still going to wait a few more seconds before we can get rid of them and then we can finally go ahead and build us here a bread empire. In the meantime though we can actually go ahead and start with the soap production. For that we're going to start with two pig farms, two rendering works and one soap factory. And yeah it's going to be costly. With that once more we are dipping into the negative balance unfortunately but of course that will only be temporary right because we are going to boost that with the soap that is coming in right away workforce is fine for the moment we can actually go ahead and finish that other district that we have over there really uh something i would like to get going here also to get a bit more taxes in 2300 people there at the moment leave uh, living in sleepy hollow and yeah big things are coming for this town here that is of course the upgrade uh i would like to once again also have a bit of a room here for a school and probably a police station or something let's keep the police and the kids together and then we're just going to have some more blocks of uh, houses here the same applies for this area and here and we're getting very close to that river so we probably want to keep a bit of a space there so that i can have another bridge then somewhere here most likely uh that would look just dandy i think uh, especially this road there yeah going up then would be fine i guess uh here let's just have some more high density blocks we're really all about high density here this is downtown area then at some point so we definitely want to definitely want to keep that enabled um i should be able yep to get some schooners out lucky enough we have 10 tons of weapons still left over from the beginning so i could build also a second warship now not going to happen uh instead we are most likely going to start with our weapon production of our own um and that's something we can do here where's my schooner should be on its second hole now look at that 24 tons of potatoes that's actually quite a bit right so now we are starting to move some volumes here between the two islands all right and with the materials arriving we have now lots of potatoes and grain on board so i can finally go ahead and delete me those potato farms there you go we keep the schnapps distilleries as i said and yeah we do have also the trade union here to boost uh, some of those factories then here we can then go ahead with more steel factories now and also then very important to me is so we are going to make another block here sorry of those for the future right then we will have another steel beams factory and then i would also like to start with the first uh, two weapons factories that we can then also squeeze in here just yeah casually here also surrounded by my trade union let's quickly check it out there we should have actually quite a lot of steel there it is with a nice surplus of one so i can go ahead and build me that weapons factory here right away definitely a good idea at this point and i'm also going to place me another warehouse just here because we are going to now also of course add the grain industry or well actually the grain processing industry because the grain we actually already have somewhere else right and let's just have a look where we can do this the best so in this case here this is probably going to be another heavy industry area here and here we can then start with that. So the schnapps we have, we still have a buffer of two. And then we can actually go ahead. Uh, we are processing the bread. We're probably going to need around two, four, six. Let's actually calculate with six in mind right now. And let's actually make it to eight with that. And I'm going ahead here with four of them, right? And then we can actually have now, um, yeah, eight of these uh, bakeries then also lined up somewhere here then, just beside my, my flour mills really. So let's just go ahead, a six here. And then another two here all right this is going to be the grain industry let's get rid of these roads um and then also here we still have space for something else the soap is working let's go ahead and actually build me the first yeah two windmills right because we have actually planned already with four grain farms and that would then actually already be then more than yeah four actually so let's just go ahead with those two uh, price wise it's going to be interesting right so i rather actually do something else um yeah let's build one more right and actually go ahead and boost them and with that we can actually keep the ratio the same i'm not going to boost my windmills there 
and with that the grain is now being processed that leaves me with one more thing we actually need for my workers before we can upgrade them and that's a school so let's go ahead and also place us a school right here in the center I just need to wait for a few more uh, bricks to come in, right? And then we can actually build this one. For a city expansion, we have the timber. Just go ahead and build us a few more here. And meanwhile, also very important, over here, we have found the next island, or we are going to settle on the next island. It's this here. And this is actually super important. It has space, which is great. It has fur abundance, which is also great. I mean, we already have a fur island, so in this case here, that is not the deciding factor the deciding factor is that we can actually use this island here as a jump point to the new world right otherwise we would be pretty much in, in a deep problem there if um if we don't have this one here because it's just vital here for the securing our corridor to the new world with that all right nothing else i would need to do here actually we do have a bit too much timber let's get this one via clampton to kallenburg right where we can still do some city expansion or some city development and I would like to continue also with a few more houses here. Let's quickly go down again here in my production. This is all looking fine. Framework knitters is something we actually need to once again have a look at. A quick look at that with another sheep farm and another framework knitter here. Alright, also I could continue with a bit more city planning here. And this is all looking rather good. We would then also already need to get rid of that one. Of that log industry that we have here. But that's still going to take a while. For now, I would actually like to... Hmm. Oh, look at that. There it comes. A war declaration. Um, we need to pay 22,000. I'm not going to pay this, obviously. It doesn't matter if we pay it now. He would demand it again in a couple of minutes. So in this case here, it's super important that we have our weapons industry now fully working. I'm actually also going to boost it by 50% because really just that's what we want to do here, getting that weapons out. Uh, we have now a production of, it should be a 1.5 done with that for the weapons. And I think, yep, we can actually go ahead with the first gunboat then as well. I'm not going to sell a few more schooners for now because I don't think we need that. The bread is coming in at this point. Another thing I would like to do, um, since we're obviously going for war now, let's actually yeah, unload the timber there, is a bit of a beer production there as well. For this, we need one more island. Um, we have this island here still available. That's without hops, though. This one here is still ready for the taking and has hops. So that's actually an island we can take as well. And since we are pretty much capped on timber, uh, we can do this. We have also lots and lots of farmers still. So let's actually also start upgrading some of them on the other side of the road and also turn them a bit a bit sinister <laughs> for all that I care nice one 3000 on the population right now it is super important now for me to actually go ahead and yeah go into the upgrading of of my artisans for that a few more bricks we need the trade route continues to work and there's also my flagship coming in and my first gunboat will also be coming out now soon. And we can actually go ahead and have the next one already commissioned. Perfect. So two gunboats is what we're doing right now already. And there it is also Kingfisher, my first gunboat. <laughs> With those two tiny guns there in the front. Ready for action. Going to secure me some of my of my area then of course now for the bricks we have another ride here in my brick um, area so another police station is required so they continue to work um, that's of course because of the poor working conditions they have but they're actually quite happy for now so at least content they are we could give them a church this would boost happiness quite a bit it will also cost me but I think um, it would be worth it right having one of these big ones here um, and we can either have it then in one of those areas available that are still kept open or we actually just get rid of those farmers over there and i think this is what i would like to do so let's just make here a bigger block out of this add some character <laughs> and there we can then have also one of these churches here right in front of the main road um, with a bigger plaza then in front of it as well and then, yeah, we can actually have some more houses then in the running area here. But this should then add a lot of happiness for the whole city then, by the way. So this is for generations to come. Now, the only thing is really right now that we have this right problem there. Here we continue the work. Um, I could also just look at purchasing a few bricks temporarily. We have also arrived on this island here. Now, this is really a fast expansion, right? Port de Radochon, <laughs> it's called, I think. And in this case here, um, this is super important. It has hops, 
and it has copper, right? And we do already have the zinc. And with that, I have zinc and copper and that the brass ready for action. I got a coal deposit, which is super important because this is as good as two charcoal burners. And we have the hops and grapes. Grapes, that's not so important. Hops, though, is. So in this case, we can actually create a new village there with a few more bricks if I get them. Uh, timber. So let's get the on one of my gunboats and actually just quickly send it over. And by the way, the pirate looks like he's ready for some trouble. And Harlow. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. And let's actually build a schooner as well for the next trade route that I'm planning. Now, we should have everything ready now. I'm just waiting for some more bricks and then we can actually go ahead and upgrade my artisans. Or my workers, that is. What's up with those guys here, by the way? Is there... Mm, there is a bit of a problem here. So upgrading the road then will solve this. I'm not doing this now because I want to preserve my bricks. So that's poor. And there is also my flagship back again. And I think for now... Yeah, it's... Look at that. And Halo does not want me to trade with Archie there. She's totally blockading this area right now and patrolling. So this is not going to work out. Let's also continue with Kalimborg, adding a few more farmers here now. That's super important. Uh, we have the timber and I need a few more taxpayers. We want to squeeze out every single last of them. And with that, we still have a positive fish balance. Meanwhile, also my gunboat has arrived in Pont. And here, yeah, once again, a tiny village, no props, with a fisherman that we can have then here. That is going to work for some of these guys. Um, yeah, probably then somewhere here, also a smaller marketplace right let's just add them here these are going to be hops farmers right so they're going to provide the foundation for my beer let's just go ahead and really create us a tiny village it does not need to be optimized at all i just want to get a bit of a, a, working, con a working population in. we'll have a, a marketplace and i think we don't even need a pub because there's not going to be that many right a pub is only required when you have a certain amount of people go ahead and build them you will need the fishery though and then a few more people here. They're super happy already. And yeah, we do have then materials to create us the hops plantation. And that's probably then in this area here, right? A hops plantation, once unlocked, only requires about 20 farmers. And we, we don't really need that many, right? Because beer consumption will not be that high. So I'm thinking about six of them. Uh, 120 farmers. Tops, right? So let's just have a look. Perhaps this block here falls still. And that's about it. Let's actually get my... My both of my gunboats down here again. Another schooner was finished. A resurrection, it's called. We're going to stuff it full with some timber right away. That we're going to need for some more farmer buildings than over there. Now, up for the big part. That's the school. We can finally build it. And also, <laughs> the old school. There it is. A bit of a darker uh, tone to it. By the way, we can also do the same thing for my fire station. The old fire station. To keep that gothic, gothic look to Sleepy Hollow here, just as it is fitting. Um, yeah, we do have a new propaganda available. This is going to be pretty important down the road. For now, let's actually just go with the Spence Spence Band and keep the happiness and light uh, ride reduction propaganda in effect there as well, because this will be pretty important to keep a bit of a stable bricks production up and running there. And yeah, we should also save for these bricks. If only it weren't for the pirate getting a bit more aggressive now towards me. Uh, let's build another gunboat. With that, we have then three gunboats plus the flagship. With that, we can already do some hunting out in the ocean. And my other islands are safe for now. And as you can see, there's the fishermen coming in now, as I, as we can call them for now. And let's also have us a few more houses there. There's actually a coal deposit here. Oh, that's going to be pretty important. Uh, just going to make sure that probably will be able to use my main warehouse for this. Village upgrade we have, and then we actually need a proper a proper warehouse here, right? Where we can then have our, let's actually plan with two warehouses right away. We can then also go ahead with already our hops plantations around that now, um, in all of this area. There you go, enough hops plantations for now. And hmm, we could already probably build them. 
having the warehouse here. And then we could also start with the first ones, even though it's rather expensive. So I would still like to hold on of that. Let's have a look here. There you go. Very nice. We can go ahead with the upgrades and let's start with the first artisans. In Sleepy Hollow. Once again, also let's change the style to the Victorian style right away. Which is lovely. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful artisan houses. What a fantastic look, really. Gets the gets the feeling over. We just need a rainy day now. Alright, we also get, and that's super important now, our first expedition. Alright, for the new world, because we definitely want to expand there now. I'm going to send my flagship over so we get the naval power bonus right away. Um, then I'm going with some schnapps, that's the rations and medicine. And also gives me a nice morale booster that we definitely will need. Mm, we don't have any items here, so I could go for... Let's see, a mm, mm, bit of bread for the for the faith bonus, and that's definitely a win already. Oh, one more thing, we should load timber on this one here, sorry. We should really load some timber and steel beams, because we don't have Isabel Samento, I just remembered. Get the faith away, and actually start with timber, and then two tons of steel beams will already be fine. I'm also going to send these gunboats with it, just to keep it safe. That should be really fine now. A little a little navy that we have there, a little fleet. Um, speaking about gunboats, let's go ahead and construct the next one right away. Even though, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. We can actually go for frigates. We should do this. I need a few more weapons for that. Once again, let's quickly check out our steel. We still have room here for improvements, so we can actually build this another weapon factory once I have the steel beams. And I think we are going to do that just fine like that. The steel books that we have right now, hmm, or... I think that's more important. Let's actually reduce the working condition and build me a second steelworks. That's way more important because we do need more of that building material now. And the weapons are rolling anyway, so that's okay. And then I would like to wait for another yeah, 10 tons of bricks to roll in. With that, we'll be able then to also build us that church. Meanwhile, uh, with the few steel beams that I have, let's build us another artisan. Every one of them counts right now because that's money. Artisans pay way more than workers, and this has a nice impact on my on my balance there there's also my cassaway uh it's still hard for me to to sell look at that more pirates in this region and look at that also where's the pirate in this area only right now on the whole map it's just this area here why because that's where the base is and that's where i am and unfortunately he, she's only arresting me right now uh, escort quest, forget it. I'm going to decline this right away. We are not going to risk any ships. And if I accept that and lose, um, we would lose reputation with Anne Harlow and oh, with Miss Hunt. And I can't do that as well. Let's build the remaining houses there as well with timber. We're capping on timber rather quickly. And I would definitely like to build me another distillery. And we probably will also need to... That's fine. That's also fine. Actually, we don't need to do anything. We have enough consumption and production for now. I'm really worried about that here. He's not letting go. Meanwhile, my expedition has started. And just at the edge of the map here, as expected, in this corner, we can leave the map. And there's no other island anymore. So it's our islands here only. And we can thus create a nice safe corridor. I just hope that... I just really hope that in the new world... It's not taken that much yet, right? And we do get some easy easy island there. Off it goes, my flagship. To this expedition. Finally, also having enough weapons. This will give me the frigate, tier 2 warships. And they're going to be pretty darn nice also to look at. Going to take a while. And until then, we might actually already have the 15 tons of weapons ready for the next batch. Also, what we just got? 34 tons of weapons. That's the pirate ship that we destroyed in my harbor area. Very nice. Let's take this right away back home. Uh, either we can build two more frigates with that, of course, or we could also sell it for a lot of money. Since money's not the super problem right now, we probably just keep it like that. Another thing, the church is ready for action now. There it is. Very important for me because this really boosts happiness for workers and artisans alike. And we were already pretty weak on that. Also, we can go ahead with the old church. A fantastic new skin. That we have then right here in the city center now the biggest building obviously uh, that we have to offer 
And with the remaining stuff that I have, let's just go ahead and upgrade a few more houses. And this unlocks us a few more buildings down the road. Also really important, there it is. Window production up and running now, and also the sewing machines production. Let's also tone down some of my other working conditions, like the schnapps. I definitely do want to reduce the risk of rights, and we can do this by just getting rid of the easy ones, right? So also the, the fish, and we also don't need that much production right now in the logging industry. And with that, we can save some of it. Let's pull this another schnapps delivery to counter the work working condition loss. And also here, let's build us another warehouse to get us also two more fisheries in that we can with that use now. 4,000 on the population mark. Uh, there's more building materials coming in again. I would continue with upgrading as many as possible as we just get a nice boost out of that and also unlock us the resident quest for the artisans. Bold fella we need to find. Find the pastry chef. There is an unknown reward out of that. Of course, I would like to find him. Sometimes good things happen out of these quests. And he's probably somewhere here. A big, bold fella. There was something. There he is. And we get the pastry chef. 4,600 selling price or also maintenance cost reduction for bakeries. Bakeries are actually rather cheap on the maintenance cost. So we're probably going to sell this one down the road then as well. Now, where is my gunboats? There they are with the weapons on board. Very slow. Once we have fully loaded them, not much we can do. Just takes a long time. That's about it. Yeah, the pirate is annoying. We cannot, we cannot go to Arch at the moment. The only way of solving this is, of course, by having some proper hmm, flamethrower building. Yep, I'm a huge fan of them. They're expensive, though. We could also go with normal cannons for now. Building them out here would definitely solve a bit of a, the pirate problem there. And there it is, my first frigate, the Pharaoh. Beautiful ship, and this will secure our military progress there for the time being. I think the AI opponents also started with some warships now. Yep, gunboats are coming out. And look at that. Alonso and the Admiral are actually already fighting for islands. That's interesting. I didn't know they were at war with each other. Of course, he's got no chance with that at the moment, at least. There's also a quest. A delivery quest for 7,000. Deliver 18 tons of pigs to Alonso. This is something we could do. We actually have it already. And I can use my frigate for this. And I'm doing this. 18 tons of pigs. Here we go. Let's load them. Let's get the gunboats that are just arriving here with the weapons. Let's actually unload the weapons and get the gunboats escorting the frigate. Via islands to stay safe of the pirate over to Alonso. And the frigate, of course, is way faster, even when loaded. So that's a good thing. And yeah, the pirate will not dare to attack this one. That's that, I think. Yep, we can actually build the next frigate right away, thanks to having those weapons on board. And actually, I prefer the frigate right now over the flamethrower, because the frigate is very mobile, while the flamethrower is not. Now, four upgrades. We have lots of farmers here still that I can go ahead. So let's upgrade a few to workers. Meanwhile, the expedition requires our attention, lost in the desert. And since we have a flagship with the navigation bonus, we can navigate by the stars. And with that, we can continue navigating by the stars, and that should probably work out in our favor. And clear desert nights are perfect for astronomers. We can finally find our path back. Also really interesting, the Admiral is already trading with the pirate. Mm, that is actually something that is super far away for us. All right. Yep, the next frigate. And actually, we can commission another one right away. Timber is coming in quickly. Let's continue with a few more artisans right here in the city center. And with that, we also finally reach the city status. Meanwhile, my convoy safely arrives here. And we should be able to turn it in for quite the hefty sum. All right, and let's actually move them back again. Funnily enough, the Admiral, <laughs> who is really busy at war with, the, with Alonso right now, he did not declare war on us after not paying it. 
Why? Because he's at war with Alonso now. But look at that, they killed each other and leaving a bit of loot behind. Why not? Let's go for it. And what do we get out of it? 34 tons of weapons again, and also damage shells. Uh, damage to sailing ships increased by 100% when activated. Uh, we could also just sell it, or yeah, we can use it. And we're probably going to use it this time around. Let's get the frigate back home with the weapons as well. Holy cow, with that we could get three more, or two more, three more frigates out. Uh, a flamethrower might also secure us for the future here. Um, that's up to us, really. Mm, 14,000 on the balance. Let's actually go ahead and upgrade a few more people. It is going to slow down on the city development right now because resources are so scarce. Um, what I would like to do is really start with the hops production. For that, I do need a bit more timber over there. And for that, I do need to, yeah, put it out there real quick. It's so tempting to build a flamethrower here because we would get rid of all of these pirates. Uh, another expedition request that we have teeth of the mountain a track leading over this impenetrable mountain should be a blessing avoid the tracks and continue with the flagship <laughs> and a shortcut may have been ignored but fair progress is made overall perfect and with that it's almost a guaranteed finish now the next frigate comes out nipper it's called and tempting tempting we could build another frigate let's actually build a schooner for now we can also sell some stuff again And there's a ride, even though we don't even have anything working here right now. We also have no increased working conditions. So that's because of the high difficulty. People just like to ride in general and want to have a good beating. Unfortunately, I can't provide bricks for anyone because we don't have any other clay deposits in the game. So what I can do is actually, I'm going ahead and I'm only going to boost the clay pits, right? And with that, we have a surplus production of clay now of two. And this actually allows me to build two more uh, brick, for, uh, brick factories, unboosted of course, right? But still, we get the bricks out. Uh, let's just see where we could add them. Yeah, probably then just here. And with that, we severely, or we actually, yeah, quite nicely improve our brick production. So far so good, expedition is on its way. We have advanced to artisans. It still remains uh, unclear how we fare with the pirate. Those ships are growing in size. And we continue onwards in the next episode of Anno 1800 Extreme. Stay tuned!